Hi, Ellie. Are you watching out the window? She is. She's watching for something. I got a thread up box delivered today. It's right down there. So I'm going to grab it and we're going to open it and see what's in there. I think it's a designer box because I think I ordered one recently. Sometimes it says something on the side, but I don't see anything. So we'll just take it back upstairs and figure out what's in here. Okay, for those of you interested, this one did come from Phoenix, Arizona. I don't really have ever pay attention to that to know like if the box came from here, it's normally good. So, sorry, I don't know if you guys have theories on that. Let's grab this little paper and see. I think I have one more thread up rescue box downstairs. So I'm good for next week, but I'll probably need to order one soon. Okay, designer DIY, $140. My last one that I opened was pretty decent. The one that I did with Ryan, I feel like that was it. Or was it a different one? My first one that I got when I like had a super long stretch of not getting any designer boxes and then I finally got one was really good because I had that Louis Vuitton bag that paid for my whole box and more. Like actually I think it doubled the price. So that was amazing. Let me give you a top look like I always do. Something really pretty there in pink. So that's exciting. If you like mystery unboxing, subscribe down below. I do these videos every Sunday. And I'd like to share with you what I'm fine. I usually am using these to resell every once in a while. I will keep stuff for myself that I get out of these mystery boxes, but typically not because I'd rather make money and go to Disney. If you're new here, my name is Heather and I'm obsessed with Disney. That's why I started reselling actually a few years ago because I wanted to be able to take my family on trips to Disney every year. And I've been able to do that and more with all of the money that I've made reselling. I go by the Canary Closet on all of my social media platforms. So you can find all that information down below if you're interested in following me anywhere else. If not, thank you. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. I picked up this cashmere sweater. I could tell without even looking at the tags by touching it that it was cashmere and here's the brand. I've never heard of this, B-A-R-R-I-E. Berry, 100% pure cashmere. It is made in Scotland. And first of all, we're gonna check it for holes. So luckily I have a nice big window up here in this room. And so I can see that really well. When I'm in the thrift store, I try to take things over by a window and natural light to look it over for stains and holes before I buy it. Because sometimes I'll miss stuff, but there's always times where I'm in a rush and I don't do it. I think all of us do that. I don't see any holes. I don't see any flaws. So that is amazing. I'll try to pop up comps of what I get in this box this time, just so you guys can kind of see because the cost of goods is really high and see like how much profit I actually think I could make. This is very pretty. I think this would be really great upcoming for Easter and spring cashmere is lightweight. So you could still wear it in like the warmer months. Okay, we're gonna get into the pretty like pink. This is like a dress, yes. No, if it's a skirt or dress. Okay, so it says, oh, I've got this in a box before. I actually just sent out an offer on this dress on eBay for $100. I don't know how to say it. So that's what the tag looks like. Marchesa Note. I'm like not very good with that kind of stuff. It is a size eight. This is very pretty. So I'm trying to figure out how it goes because here's, like there, you can see two like little, almost like little bra inserts in there. So I'm guessing it would like be like this is like the chest and then it just goes up. So kind of like a cross one shoulder, which is super pretty. This is gonna be great for upcoming for like prom dances, like wedding. It's so pretty. It has tool um, layer over the top, floral. Let me see the material. I wonder if this would fit Grace if she could try it on for me, just cause that'd be pretty for a stock picture. Okay, I'm not seeing anything like on the bottom. It does have a tie that goes around the waist. Hopefully I can find a stock picture of this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It has a side zip. And I'm trying to see if the material tag would be in there anywhere. Oh, here it is. These are hard to find sometimes. Well, now where did it go? 
I'm like kind of a mess. If you watch my channel regularly, you know that I'm kind of a mess sometimes. Like I'm not like professional, but <laughs> maybe at least I'm relatable, right? It's just polyester. Okay, so dry clean only. Super pretty, I'm excited about this. I know these retail for a lot. I'll be interested to see if I can find this exact dress. It's so pretty. It's very, very fancy, I feel like. So I'm really excited about that. I see a bag and I think I'm gonna save that for last. So let's get into the next item. This is the brand Junya Watanabe. <laughs> Hmm, am I saying that completely wrong? I've heard this Come de, come de car, Garçons. Oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. I'm just a girl who lives in the middle of the country that is like not cultured at all. Anyway, I've heard of like Converse, I'm pointing with my middle finger, uh, collaboration with him. This is a navy and white sleeveless striped dress. It's cute, it's really stretchy, it's probably a knee length dress. I have no clue again about this brand. These mystery boxes are great for teaching me new brands. So that is exciting. I'm trying to find a material tag. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to look it up. I'm assuming it's just some kind of like cotton blend. Oh, here it is. So I probably would have looked this up at the thrift store just because of that, like this tag that's not focusing. So it says made in Japan right here and it is cotton blend. So again, don't know, but by the time I put up this video, hopefully I will have comps up on the screen somewhere. Okay, next we have ALC. And what does this stand for? I don't remember. So if you do, please put in the comments. Why is my camera having like extreme issues focusing today? I don't know. It's a size small. This is just like a tank top, very stretchy, reminds me of like the bandage material. I don't know, it kind of has like the crossover back. It doesn't seem like anything special, but I don't really know this brand. Made in China, rayon, elastane, nylon blend. So I don't know about that. I don't feel like it's gonna be great. Maybe I'll be surprised, we'll see. Okay, let's just get into what I'm seeing here. Okay, guys. Um... <laughs> Thank you. I need you love me. You really love me. Golden Goose? For real? Oh my gosh. How do you, oh my gosh. Superstar Golden Goose Deluxe brand. It says, I have no clue about this. GGBD right in there. Please help me if you've sold this before, if these are authentic. Um, it also has something right here in the tongue. So these are made to look dirty like this, I found out. Golden Goose, it says Lux brand Venice. Um, it also says something right here, GGD. So, so weird though, because like how much these retail for and like people pay to have dirty looking shoes. Like, I don't get it, but I don't know where there's a size at. Okay, if you guys have sold these before, <laughs> I feel like these could be really good. Um, <laughs> I love these boxes. Ah. I almost had a chance to get one the other day too and they freaking were sold out. I'm so mad. I don't know where the size would be. So if you guys know about these, of course, I'll be doing my own research. I'm filming this on a Thursday. I'm putting it up by Sunday. So maybe I will know by then or even have them listed. But like, where would the size be on these? Um, if these are real, I think these could be like really good. So I am really, really excited about this, yeah, holy crap. Okay, wow, um, this, oh, and here's a dust bag. I'm gonna assume they're real. So for dream use only, not designed for other activities. What? And then it says need in Italy right here. Maybe I'll look up some other listings of the shoes and see where they have the size at. 
That's exciting. That's ridiculously exciting. I'm saving this bag for last. It doesn't have a crossbody strap, I can see, but let's just do these shoes. And we have Chloe. These are a pair of black suede lace up flats. And they're super pretty. These are a size 42. I was gonna say, I think they're bigger. So I don't know if that, I'll have to look at their shoe size conversion chart if that's like a women's 12. Um, or if it's a little bit different, there's like a little bit of wear in the suede, but really not that bad. Chloe is a great brand. I have sold some of their flats before that were pretty beat up, but I still, I think, sold them for over $50. So I'll have to try to figure out this style and see what they go for. It looks like they just come up in the sides here, and then I guess I'm just lacing up your ankle. So that's exciting. That's cute. Let's get into this bag which is the last item. Like I said, I already saw that it was missing the crossbody strap, which is unfortunate unless it's inside. No, it's not. Okay, and this is Zach Posen. So I have never sold Zach Posen, but is it Zach Zach Posen since this is it twice? Does that mean it's a lower line? It's a lilac purple, cute little like dome purse with this like little carabiner. Um, it has a little UPC on the inside, but it's super clean. Again, just really sad there's no crossbody strap, but we'll see, we'll see about that. Um, I've never sold this brand before, so this would be a first for me. So that's my box, guys. I'm really excited. I love these boxes. I hope I can get another one again. Hmm. Let me know down below if you've gotten these before and like what was your best item. My best item was a Nancy Gonzalez purse, I think, that I sold for like seven or $800. Ridiculous. Sometimes I can find stuff like this at my thrift stores, but it's like not often. And like my buy sell trades, if they even have brands like these, they're extremely marking them up. So it is a risk since I'm paying so much, but this one is paying off. I think these Golden Goose sneakers are gonna be like really good. At least I hope so. I'm guessing these will pay for my whole box and then some. So stick around, make sure you subscribe and come back. I do my what sold videos every Friday. So I'll be letting you know as this stuff sells and how much it's selling for. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you Tuesday for another video. Bye.